Yo, 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 welcome back. This is the Kickoff FC show. This is your boy, Ryan2012, and that's your boy, The Roomba. Clearly, he's hype about something. Is it because we kicked down Leicester City as we predicted? On your boy, three zero I respect. It. I predicted respect. It. Respect. respect, 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 man. Respect. Three zero for Leicester City. Okay, Shh. yeah, listen. I don't know. I ain't seen. Listen, however, I will say this even though we won the game and rush forward, the man on fire, oh, oh, He's on fire. Mm -hmm. is still killing it right now man this the form rashford is in right now is like unbelievable man like mind blowing like like dude on a new level bro yes new level he was mad when he got taken off so because he wanted that hat trick what you mean what? You don't think about tomorrow game and the next game. The man want him a trick no to no. stop them class. Man say, oh, I'm on fire. I see what I say. Holland who? Mbappe exactly. who? Exactly. Who's the best winger in the... Huh? Huh? Which player is in the best form right now across all leagues? Hands down, it's Rashford. Yeah, I said it. Bold prediction moment. Yeah, I mean. It is 100% Rashford. He is in the form of his life right now. And I'm confident that he can keep it going. Even if he doesn't score, he can still impact the game tremendously. Either assist, even if he doesn't get an assist. The mere fact that Rashford is in such great form, he's striking fear in the defenders. I don't know how people object to me when I say that. I'm like, bro, when they see Rashford coming at you with the pace that he has, Defenders are shaking in their knees. And Coaches are telling them to miss. double team. He can't miss. Man, and the thing man. about it is, when he's on the wing, they can send help to double him. But mm -hmm. when he's playing central, it's harder to double him. Because they're going to kick the ball and play fast on the counter attack. Yo, when Rashford gets the ball, am I the only person? But I'm expecting mm -hmm. something special to happen. I'm like, oh shit, Rashford got it. And even if he gets the ball in our own half, once I see him make that stride and start running, push. One push on Chucky Dong. Rashford. You gotta catch him. This man is fast. 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 And I'm like, I'm loving everything that I'm seeing from Rashford right now. I'm so impressed. But back to the Leicester game. I'm going to keep it a little bit real right quick, right? Mm -hmm. That first half. Was straight trash. It's trash. Trash. We was lucky as shit to get out of the first half 1-0 up. The hair made some incredible saves. Incredible saves. Like I said, the hair has that one mistake in him. But then he turned around and give you nine incredible saves. All right. It comes to the territory. Clean as you sheet. can see, he ain't the only person that gives away the ball and messes up. We saw that in the Champions League from both, what's the name? The, Allison the two and Shoppies. And the two strainers. What's his name? Cortar. Um, both of them now messed up real yeah, bad. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, we're not talking about the embarrassment that Liverpool got. <laughs> Ole! Ole! At Anfield. But we did, I digress. Anyway, so yeah, first half, menu look like, we look shaky. Shaky, mm. completely shaky. And Ten Hag said it best. If we play like that in the first half against a good quality team, we'll not finish it. Happen. You're not winning that game. Not Either happen. that or it's an uphill climb. You cannot, cannot, cannot start a game like that. Look at what's coming up for us. Barcelona and also Newcastle. We can't do that. Second half of the game, though, was a clinic. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you about coaching, you see um, Ten Hag making changes, moving Rashford around. Putting Sancho back in the game. Having Sancho and Bruno switch in position. You know that's something from the training ground. Yes. To have Sancho drop in the central in the 10th spot. And have Bruno drift out wide. And look at what they did. They score a nice 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two goal. It's in the back of your net. Easy. 1-2-1-3. One, one, you think he was just going to send Sancho away for months? 
just for him to come back and be the same player he was before. Mm-hmm. You're crazy. The man on one-on-one trainings at camp by himself. He's going to develop some new skills and new techniques that Ten Hag can incorporate into the formation and tactics. You don't know about the tactics. Eh? A big coach. All them oh, other, he yeah. that man, them, what them did have as coach for Manu. Eh? Ex- except Jose. The three premierships, and I won more premierships alone than the other 19 managers together. Three for me and two for them. Respect. 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 The trend that the other coaches set was lackadaisical, no pressing, no energy, no togetherness, individualism. That's why I think every now and then it creeps back into the mindset of the players where for the first half we might start out slow or the second half we start out slow. So that's a trend that's slowly getting taken out of the team chemistry. We just need to win a couple trophies, make it, it to a couple finals. You know what I'm saying? That's Ten Hag has have us lined up perfectly to knock off Barcelona, knock off Newcastle, and celebrate with the champagne. Yeah. Yo, it's been, what, six years since we've won a trophy, right? So think about it. He's trying to establish a championship mentality, a winning mentality at mm-hmm. Manchester. We haven't had that. And if you notice, once, like like Rumba just said, they, they, those old things from older coaches were still lingering. You got to get rid of that. And you know what's going to get rid of that? When we start winning some trophies. When you get that championship mindset and you get the taste of that champion, I say... You start like, yo, I want some to more of this. this on, a regular on a regular basis. What do you mean? We need people to fear us when they come to Old Trafford. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what we did. We we put fear in the rest of the league by putting Leicester on notice, putting putting, I mean Arsenal and City on notice, like, yo, it's a it's somewhat of a open league chance. It's somewhat of a race. Somewhat of a race. I'm not gonna put it all the way up there that says, but we're putting some pressure on them boys. And we made a statement by push, by pumping down Leicester City this weekend. Mm-hmm. Great win. Great, Great win. Points. Easy, controlled win. You know what I'm saying? And time to move up the table. Put on pressure on them boys. And keep marching forward in the cups. Let's get it, man. Mm-hmm. This was a review show. We love what, what we see so far from Man U. Let us know what y'all think. Let us know, comment, ping us, whatever you want to do, man. But anyway, we thank y'all for watching. This is your boy, Ride 2012, and that's your boy, Don Roomba. Y'all already know, man, we out of here.